In this video, we're going to be talking about the derivative of e to the x, right? So just a very, very straightforward, what if you have y equals e to the x, and you are doing the derivative of it? Um, there's more to it than this. This will be a little bit more complicated, but if it's just e to the x, and you do the derivative of it, it is also e to the x. So the slope equation of e to the x is e to the x. Right, and when we get into logs, there's a little bit more to it, um, but if it's just e to the x, that's what you got. Right, so we're going to do a problem associated with that. Um, and we are going to add a little bit of information that might be beneficial to us um, somewhere along the way it's going to. So this will kind of come up from time to time, so I kind of just add it in, that if you have some sort of a value that has a log, with the exact same base on it, right? So there's your exponent. It's going to just simplify to x, whatever that is. So same thing applies if you have an e and you want the exact same base, then you're talking about the natural log. That would also simplify. Okay, so um, it, it goes into the what cancels or what undoes logs, exponentials undo logs, and what, what undoes exponentials, logs undo it. So we're going to need that somewhere into this um, eventually. So, um, so on this problem, we are going to try to find write an equation of the tangent line to this graph at this particular point. Right. So a tangent line is we eventually are going to do a y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1 to turn it into y equals mx plus b. Right? That's our goal. Okay, so what we have is we have a coordinate, so we have an x1 and a y1, but we don't have a slope. So here's where the calc is going to kick in. So in order to find our slope, um, we are going to do a slope equation and then plug in zero which means we have to do the derivative of this. So our problem is, here is our 2x minus e to the x over 2. All right, so let's clean this up a little bit so we can do the derivative of it. It's not this. I want to pull the fraction off of this just to make it maybe a little nicer. So this is a 1, so it's a 1 half times e to the x. Okay, so I just want to write it like that. So now when I apply the derivative, I'm going to be doing the power rule to this. So the derivative of 2x is going to just be 2. And remember that this is a power of 1. That would multiply to the 2, and we would drop that to a power of 0. And so that um, anything to the 0 would make this go away. And then here, minus 1 half, derivative of e to the x is e to the x. So that is our slope equation, which means if we wanted to find the slope at zero, because that's what they're asking for, we would now just plug zero into this equation. So two minus one half e to the zero is going to be two minus uh, one half times one. So two minus a half is going to be one and a half which may be three halves, might be a little bit nicer to kind of use um, as our slope. So that's our slope at zero. And so now that's the calc part. So now we're going to kick into the finding the um, tangent line. So this equation we're going to be using y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. All right, so we got y minus negative one half equals three halves because that's what our calc was to find our slope and then x minus zero so we'll distribute we'll change our signs we'll bump that over and go ahead and get our equation so we're looking at y plus a half equals three halves x that's going to wipe go away because of the zero We'll subtract a half. And so our final answer is y equals 3 halves x minus 1 half. All right, and if I really wanted to double check to make sure I'm good, I would graph this in Desmos. I'd plot this point in Desmos, and I would graph this in Desmos. And that should 
um, just graze this point. It's going to be tangent to this graph at that particular point. You can really validate, make sure everything works the way it's supposed to work. The extra part of this is find the point or points on this graph, um, on this graph, as to which the tangent line is horizontal. All right, so let's talk about that real quick. The tangent line is horizontal. You're talking about a slope equaling zero. And so whatever this graph looks like, I don't really know, but let's say it has some sort of a curve like that. I don't think that's what it looks like, but let's say it does. Um, does it level off at any point? And that could be going down, that could be coming up, or that could be just it kind of levels off and goes horizontal just for a second. So that point right there is what we're looking for. So main thing is, is it zero? So what that means is that we will go back and remember that we have a slope equation of two minus one half e to the x. Right, we found our slope equation right here. And so to figure out when our slope is zero, this is the equation, our slope equation. We're going to take our slope equation and we're going to set it equal to zero. All right, we could set it equal to any slope that they wanted, but they wanted it specifically to be horizontal, which is a slope of zero. So then we set it equal to zero. And we're going to do the math to solve it. So we're going to subtract two. We have a negative one half e to the x equaling negative 2. To get rid of this, we're going to multiply the reciprocal. So I'm going to multiply by negative 2 over to the other side. So we're looking at e to the x equals 4. And then in order to solve an exponential, we're going to log both sides. So we're going to natural log both sides. So natural log e to the x equals the natural log of 4. So another property is when you have a log base a of a to a power, right? As long as that base matches that value, then it's just going to also equal x. So if we have the natural log of e to some power, it's just going to become that power. Okay, so it's exactly what we have. And that's exactly why we do this is we're going to have to log this in order to bring the exponent off of it. So that turns into x equaling the natural log of 4. So I don't really know exactly what that is. So if I throw that in a calculator, it would give me about 1.39. So they wanted to know the point that that happens. So for us to find the point on this graph, I have the x value. Our x value is the natural log of 4. Right? Our y value is we got to do the math here. So a little extra work that we got to do. Um, so if I do uh, 2 times natural log of 4 minus e natural log of 4 divided by 2. So e to the natural log of 4, right? So here is where this property comes from. So that is just going to simplify to whatever value is attached to the natural log. So that's just going to become 4. So we're looking at 2 natural log of 4 minus 4 over 2, which is 2 natural log of 4 minus so as an exact value, the x value is the natural log of 4. The y value is 2, natural log of 4 minus 2. Or if the decimal is OK, we throw that into the calculator. And if we just take it out two decimal places on each thing, we're looking at a 1.39 comma 0.77, if you were to plug that in. Right, so most likely we're looking for an exact, um, but if you want to get an idea visually, where is that point? Um, we can turn them into some decimals. All right, so that was us doing uh, finding a tangent line. It was we were taking the derivative, finding the slope, plugging it in, and then when anytime they're talking about a horizontal slope, that means we're taking our slope equation and setting it equal to a zero always, because slope of a horizontal is always zero.